Next to take center ice here in the short program, another skater capable of some big scores. Here is 17-year-old Elena Radionova from Russia. She was not selected to represent Russia at the World Championships, and I, for one, am very excited to see her back in the spotlight. <laughs> She starts this program off with the triple ups, triple toe. Little forward, opting to not use the combination. She will need to put that on the footwork triple loop in the second half. Triple loop, triple toe. The mental strength to be able to throw that triple toe on late in the program. And very well done on the double axle. Ryan, I mentioned I was excited to see her. I just think Elena has such a presence on the ice. Not to mention... She is so consistent in competition. Her track record is really incredible. I mean, she hasn't missed qualifying for the Grand Prix final in four years. She's medaled at every Grand Prix event she's ever entered, but she had a disappointing result at the Russian National Championships. She finished fifth and was left off that world team. And I think she's skating here with a little bit of a chip on her shoulder, saying, look, I'm still in contention. Don't forget about me, because the, world, the Olympic Games, rather, are very much on her mind, no doubt. It was certainly a surprise to not see her name to the team, even with a disappointing national championships. You have to think that Russia is looking to the future. They have the young ladies coming up from junior that they're trying to get that experience for. Well, Elena has plenty of experience standing in this spotlight. She had plenty of fun with that short program as well. And to your point, Ryan, just incredible fortitude to throw in that triple-triple where it wasn't expected. I imagine something she's practiced before, but nonetheless, you don't want to have to make decisions like that on the fly, and she did it very well. Well, you see it with some of the ladies that they know. I do a triple-toe on the end of the Lutz. I do a triple-toe on the end of the toe. And that's what they practice. And then the very elite ladies can do a triple toe on the end of anything. And then in that moment when you need to throw the combination where something goes a little awry, you have the confidence and you know that you can do it. And Elena has that confidence. She has the experience. The triple lutz wasn't even that bad. It was a little off in the air. But she got through it and just realized that she could do this later in the program. And... What it does is instead of squeaking a triple toe off on the Lutz or perhaps not getting the full rotation, she saves the grade of execution, she saves the full rotation, she keeps that technical score very high. She did look a little slower than I've seen late in the season. Obviously, you have to think she hasn't been training super hard since the Russian National Championship. Well, did she even know that she was going to be named to this team until after the World Championships? We don't know. You have to think, Russia was one of the first countries to name their team, and they named it almost immediately after the World Championships. But I can't imagine she thought she was going before that. So it's 72.21, a season's best for Elena Razionova from Russia, and a nice way to 
send this short program off. A very unique vehicle for the season, showing off her personality and in this case, certainly giving her a chance to have a little fun with it out on the ice today in front of this very grateful Japanese audience. And that's just a presence that she brings. She loves to perform and you see that energy. 